Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and ring the bell to be notified about future videos. This is a review of the Apple Watch Series 5 Edition Titanium. And here it is on my wrist. It's a very good watch and it's of course the best Apple Watch that I've had, but that makes sense because this is the fifth generation. I have been reviewing the Apple Watch ever since it first came out. And one of the things I've been asking for from the beginning was for Apple to design an always on screen and they finally have for the Series 5. So the big question I had is, is it a game changer? Does it fundamentally change the experience of wearing the Apple Watch? And the answer is I'm in the middle and I'll tell you why. First of all, yes, it's definitely a game changer in the sense that it increases the utility of the watch and the fashionability of the watch. Think about people sitting in a room all wearing an Apple Watch with a blank screen. Yes, you know they have an Apple Watch and yes, it might be doing things, but what does it say about them? Nothing, because it's the same type of design with a blank screen. All of a sudden now, Apple has introduced the ability to have a screen on all the time. Now, battery life is something that they still have to battle with. So the always on screen is a kind of a compromise. They did develop a new technology that allows them to do it in a low power state, which means that the screen is updated once every minute. Also, the screen is a little bit dimmer and you don't have too much control over customizing what the always on screen is. Meaning you go to one of the predefined watch faces and it's always on screen is basically similar to what it would look like when it was turned on, but a slightly dimmer color. So overall, I think they did a very good job and I would never want to go back. And I think that everyone who sees the Apple Watch Series 5 is going to agree that it's totally better, but Apple still has a way to go in making it brighter, adding more animations and doing the things that would bring it closer to a physical three-dimensional watch design that I love as a traditional watch enthusiast. So really good job on the always on screen, but there's always more things that Apple can do to improve. And we know that there's gonna be a series six. Second, this is the new titanium case. And this is the first time that Apple Watch has been offered in titanium. It's been offered in a lot of materials, steel, gold, ceramic, aluminum, and now titanium as well. The series five edition comes in titanium, or ceramic, and both of them have two different tones. The titanium comes in natural titanium or this DLC coated black colored titanium, which I prefer because it's much more scratch resistant and has a really, really cool look to it. Does the titanium case actually look very visually distinctive than the aluminum or the steel? Well, it depends on how close you look. The finishing has a very unique brush style that looks very good in titanium, and in black, it definitely has its own character. So does it look exactly like other black colored Apple watches out there? No. Is it easy to tell the difference? Well, it really depends who you are. I can say that it's very light and that's something which is noticeable. And the titanium mixed with a sapphire screen allows this watch to feel very much like a traditional timepiece in, in terms of the, the build quality. I mean, the Apple Watch has always had that, but in terms of the look of the materials. So increasingly you're seeing Apple reaching the level not just in the materials and the, and the construction, but also in the way that the watches look compared to traditional watches that in a lot of ways they supplant for some people. People who like traditional watches say they'll wear their smart watches during the day, but hope that they still get to wear the traditional watches at night, which I think makes a lot of sense. The last thing I want to talk about are some of the new features and complications that Apple has added. When the Apple Watch first came out, there was a general sense that Smartwatches were exciting, but no one was quite sure exactly what people were going to use them for, and notifications were still a big thing. Since then, the Apple Watch and other smartwatches have evolved, and they've evolved to allow consumers to see things that are more useful to them at a glance and easily, meaning the watch has always had a lot of functionality, but now Apple is bringing it front and center to the visual experience. So it's not just what it does, it's how it's displayed, which I think is really important. And if you can't see the data or you can't use the information, it might as not well be there. New features that the Apple Watch Series 5 has is a compass, and it looks really cool, as well as a decibel level meter. Now this is very interesting, and the idea, I'm gonna to go to one of the screens here where I have it set, is that the World Health Organization has stipulated certain levels of sound which are unhealthy, especially for prolonged exposure. So the watch using the microphone measures the ambient noise in the room and tells you the decibel level. And that adds to complications such as 
um, indicating the air quality and other environmental things, which I think Apple is doing really well. So in terms of a watch, the Apple Watch Series 5 is much more useful. It brings a lot of tools front and center. And finally, for the first time, especially with the California dial, you start to get the sense that Apple's creating a dial which is uniquely designed for this rectangular case. That's a hard thing to do. For the most part, they've been adopting round dials to a rectangular case or creating something which is sort of amorphous, meaning it doesn't really have a shape. Finally, with the California dial, you have a proportionally correct rectangular dial for this watch case shape, and I think it looks really good. The Apple Watch Series 5 Edition Titanium in this 44 millimeter long variety on this particular strap costs $849. It's a little bit less in the smaller cases and it's a little bit more with the fancier straps. You can see more about the Apple Watch Series 5 on a blog to watch. Thanks.